good afternoon, students. I had the privilege of discussing The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne with Rhea Singh. So Rhea is a grade eight learner and I'm very impressed with the maturity of her answers. So Rhea, what are some of the themes in the boy in the striped pajamas? So to elaborate on some of the themes, you can have like the Nazi regime, how inhumanity and Hitler's more egotistical way of thinking, also the power of friendship and the Jewish innocence and how they were uh, persecuted for no reason at all. And to elaborate more on it, I would say that Hitler had a very egotistical way of thinking as in that the Aryan race was the only race that could be where the blue uh, eyes, blonde hair, that was the person that was perfect in like the image of God. And the Jewish people absolutely did nothing to Hitler to deserve what was done to them. And they were wrongly killed for, for no reason that they could have had a whole life ahead of them. They had so many goals. They had things that they wanted to achieve in life. Yet they were stripped of their rights by a man who killed six million people, but no one was scared to stop him. Yeah, so it would be safe to say that evil thrives when good people do nothing. That's true. And when you think about it, we, um, in the book, we have Bruno's father and his name is Rolf. Now, Rolf was instructed orders from Hitler to kill all these innocent people and with him he had a choice he could have done this or he couldn't have done this and he could have stood up for what was right yet at the end of the day he didn't and all of these innocent people had died and when you think about it this one man which ironically he, he wasn't he didn't have blue eyes he didn't have blonde hair yet he still killed all these people which his thinking was so false that he, that was the only way that he could think of things in such a way. Yeah, so ideology could be quite dangerous That's because true. he thought that um, human beings were subhuman. That's true. And in the steps, as you said, that subhuman, we can see that he thought he had the power over everyone. He thought he was instructed by God to do such things. Yet, if you think about it, God would never instruct someone to take a life from somebody else because everyone, all of us, are made in the image of God. And he thought that the only race that could be was blue eyes, blonde hair, followed every sort of structure that was there, which was at the wrong, at, like wrong at the end of the day when you look at it. Fantastic. So, um, so what are some of the lessons that you would take away from the novel? So if I think about it, I can see that, so in the book we had Bruno and we had Schmuel. So they were friends, but Schmuel was from the concentration camp. Now, they used to talk behind the fence, and if you look, up, look at it, like the power of friendship, they, even through all these odds, they still became friends at the end of the day. And they tried as hard as they did to talk to each other, be there for each other. And you can see that children are so naive that they always see the innocence in everything. And it's nice to think that way, that everyone wants to be your friend and they will not, there's like nothing wrong with that sort of thing. And also like judging people without knowing their full story, like judging a book by its cover. Hitler didn't know any one of these people. They, as I said, they absolutely did nothing to him. Yet he felt the right to take away their lives, which is very wrong. And being judgmental is one of the worst things that you can do because it's kind of like the same ideology as Hitler had where just kill all of these people, they are bad. Yet they could have had, they could have been the nicest people ever and they could have helped him in his life, but he didn't give them like autonomy to help him at the end of the day. So do you think he felt more powerful by giving these orders? Yes, I feel that he did feel more powerful. He felt that that um, by giving these orders and them being brought, like done at the end of the day because nobody wanted to stop him. 
so he knew like at the end of the day his orders would have been done and he would have had his way whether or not people listened to him or not he still would have had his way because he had the most power over everyone so in life we are given um choices how how would you after reading this novel respond to the various choices that are offered to you in life i would say that as he said that you know when you see that people want to be your friend and you give them you always want to see the bad in them or you don't want to give them a chance and i feel that if you made the right decisions in life meaning that if you give people like freedom to help you rather than trying to bring them down constantly and trying to hurt them by bringing yourself up that's the wrong way to do things because you should always help people from like the good of your heart and help them succeed in life and in certain choices where you have to um also like cutting negative energies it's a very good thing to do you'll feel lighter you'll feel more spiritually inclined that your emotional well-being is better because people will try to bring you down it's there's no stopping other people from trying to hurt you but it's also how you re- react to that situation that will determine the outcome of how you will be that's amazing i'm very proud of the maturity of the way you think and the way you express your views so well done thank you thank you